What is up guys, uh, Serena Service on Net here, and today I'm gonna talk about how you assign a host name to your Minecraft service IP address. Some change, some say you change it, but you don't actually change it. Uh, what you do is you assign a host name to the numbered IP address that your provider gave you, and that way people can connect to it um, without having to remember that string of numbers. So um, it works in a way that um, you basically assign a record in your DNS provider's uh, registry. And um, you don't change IP address in any way. Like if you purchase a server from us, um, you wouldn't just change the line of numbers that we assigned your server to. All you would do is you would give people a host name. And then when people type in this host name into their um, Minecraft server's um, server list or into your Steam server list for that matter, you would ask your your DNS provider, what IP address lies behind this host name. So um, when you enter in our website at serenityservice.net, you don't actually just uh, go to a magic place where uh, serenityservice.net uh, exists. What you do is uh, your uh, browser again will ask a DNS provider, say, hey, uh, what IP address uh, uh, does this host name respond to? And that would then say, oh, serenityservice.net would have a uh, web server that respond on um, this IP address. And then you are basically hiding the actual IP address behind a host name. And it works out like this. You will have your PC here that connects to the internet. And then um, when you enter servers, micro servers, you, um, you go through the internet and then onto the server. That's how you would normally connect to a server where you were giving the IP address, the numbered IP address we all know. But when you assign a host name, what you do first is you ask a DNS provider what IP address is behind this host name. So when you type in uh, serenityservice.net into your Minecraft browser, for example, if I had a Minecraft server on that uh, host name, it would ask the DNS provider down here saying, um, is there a Minecraft server here? Uh, what IP address is this um, pointing to? And it would point to something like uh, 192.168.1.1 or something. And then you would connect to that. So it's just an easy way to remember it, basically. Um, and how you set it up is different from every uh, DNS provider. What I'm showing here is uh, through uh, cPanel, and cPanel uses the, um, the hosting provider's DNS servers. Um, and basically what you do is you on cPanel, you click the simple DNS zone editor, and then on here, and you find a box that looks something like this. And then you just fill in the details like this. Um, Basically, I have a hosting called phy.sx, and I will apply um, a subdomain called Minecraft, and then to that host name, I will apply a address, an IP address, right here, um, without the port. Like if if you left the port on here, you would get an error, so it can only point to the, the IP address itself. And uh, when I do that, it's going to look somewhat like this in a uh, box below and basically it confirms that this host name here points to this IP address so when I type this into my uh, Minecraft server browser it's basically pointing to this like it's, it's a way to hide the IP address now if your a Minecraft server is not running on a default um, 25565 port you will have to put a colon and then the port behind it. So like uh, minecraft.phy.sx um, colon 25575, for example. Because Minecraft, uh, like when you use the, um, if you just put this in, it's gonna try and look for what's on the default port. But if your server's not on the default port, you may end up joining some random server. So that's basically how uh, you um, you create a host name or change the IP address or whatever for your Minecraft server.